Let's take a look how to make this smoking text here in Photoshop. So the first thing you need to do is create a portrait artboard. And by the way, this is my artboard size. I'm going to select the type tool and type in something. Press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. So the thing is, we're going to need to create a smaller number or letter, something like this. So from here, we're going to go to the filter, go to blur gallery, and let's select the path blur. So this is going to be that smoke effect. I'm going to click on convert a smart object, open it up, and it looks something like this. I'm going to drag it here, for example. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the speed, also the taper, and I'm going to uncheck the centered blur. So now you can see that the blur is going from the letter all the way out. And we also got the endpoint speed. You can also increase that. And I'm going to go here and just drag this point and check this out. It is going to bend this wind smoke effect. So you can bend it as much as you like. And I'm going to pull this also a little bit like that. Click OK. And I'm going to bring it somewhere here. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layers. Now I created a second blur layer. I'm going to go to the blur gallery, double click on it. And now I'm going to go to the speed and decrease it. I'm going to go all the way down to 120 ish. Click OK. Press Ctrl J again. And now I'm going to go again to the blur gallery at the third layer, double click. And we're going to go and bring the speed down even more just to make this blur effect nice and rich. I'm going to click OK, press Ctrl G again. And let's go again to the blur gallery, double click. And I'm going to decrease it somewhere on 2015. Click OK. So now we've got a proper motion blur effect. Make sure to click on the top layer here and we're going to go to the adjustments, scroll down and select the gradient map. And I'm going to click on the gradient. I'm going to make this one black, click OK. And let's go and add some handles. For example, I'm going to make this blue, click OK. Add another one, a really light blue, click OK. I also can bring this blue a little bit more here and try to find a sweet spot where the text is going to look the best, click OK. Now I'm going to press and hold Alt, click on the plus to create a new layer. I'm going to renew it as noise, change up the mode to overlay, make sure to check fill with overlay neutral color, click OK. Let's go and right click on the layer, convert a smart object, filter, noise, add noise. Uncheck the monochrome and adjust the noise, click OK. I'm going to press and hold Shift, select these layers with the effect. I'm going to right click on them, convert a smart object and press the letter C for crop, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down, double click, and there it is. And this is how I make this motion blur ghost effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.